So before we calculate the enthalpy of reaction for calcium carbide reacting with water, and then one of the products of calcium carbide reacting with water is acetylene gas. So the second reaction is gonna be combusting acetylene gas. Before we calculate the enthalpies of reaction using Hess's law and heats of formation, or enthalpies of formation, let's see the two reactions first. So I'm gonna place the calcium carbide just on the middle of this tray, kind of spreading it around. It looks a lot like little granules of gravel, but they are definitely not. And then what I'm gonna do is place the water in the form of ice to help kind of keep the reaction going and collecting kind of the uh, acetylene gas. So look for two signs of the products. One is the acetylene gas, and the other is calcium hydroxide, which is a, a white solid. I'm just gonna kind of push those together. So kind of take a look at those and see if you see some evidence of those two products. And then I'm gonna safely light the acetylene gas from a distance away. Move these out of the way. And this is a second reaction that will calculate the enthalpy of reaction for, which is the combustion of acetylene. to the math calculations and we'll see what the enthalpy of reaction for calcium carbide in water and the enthalpy of reaction for acetylene combusting in air.